Hello and welcome everybody. In this video, I will show you how to use multi-row formula to fill down values from the row values above. I have taken access to a file which has a column called customer. And you noticed in that column, one name appears and against them there are a lot of blank cells beneath it. I'm to fill this null value cells with trusted catalog store. Now, it is quite easy in Excel, but how do I do that in Altrex? Let me show you how. First, in the search box, type multi. You will get an option called multi-row formula. This multi-row formula tool. Let me drag and drop in the canvas. Now, the first thing you should do is choose to update an existing field. And then choose the field name, customer, because that's where all the null values exist and you'll want to replicate the value from values above. Now you keep the number of rows one. Why? Because you want a difference of one row when the values are pasted. If the values are empty, then do something about it. So you see the tabs here. The first tab is talking about the variables that is in the context to a particular row position field. You can go one row above, one row below, and be in the same row. On the other hand, you have something called functions, which talks about different kinds of logical functions, date, time, and so forth. So let me go to variable, and let me start typing the expression which will allow me to fill up all the empty values above. In fact, as a beginner, I must show you that when you go to functions, and when you choose conditional, as you double click on the first option, you get an automatic template of then else statements. So let's make use of this. So in the condition, let me put in is empty, where in the pair of parentheses, I'm going to insert the field name, which is the active row. As I click on the plus button, I see the customer. This is referring to the one value of the customer field. If that is empty, what would you like to do? You would like to take a value from the row value above. So let me go to row minus one and pick up the customer. If the current record row is not empty, then you should keep the same value as what it is from the active row. So if the current value of the row record is empty, then please take the value from one row above, else keep the same thing. Now, from our previous discussions, we remember the shortcut key to bring the browse tool is choosing the right element in the canvas and pressing Control shift b this will allow you to see the quality of the output. So let me run the workflow by pressing Control R. In the preview option, I see that customer names, which was appearing just once, is now being repeated four times. Let me go back to the original data. There you go. There were three blank null values, empty values. So now when I go to the browse tool, it shows me the data's quality and the preview window verifies what I aim to do. So friends, we used a multi-row formula tool to fill up the empty records from the row above. 